I know that things may seem tricky right now and maybe you're seriously doubting whether you're on the right path because when you look at your life it doesn't feel right, it feels like a mess and it's like you haven't seen any changes and you're just worried that you won't reach the success that you want or get the things right in your life but there is a reason for that and I know this because you know what this has happened to me on my own journey and this video is about us figuring this out because there's something really really important that you have got to understand about life and this will help make sense of everything in your life so that you can start to really enjoy your life and make the things happen that you want to happen in your life. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Sorsha and I help people get unstuck and create powerful results in their life. For a long time, you know, back when I was depressed, I, when I decided to change my life because I didn't want to de be depressed anymore, I decided to change my life and for a long time, I didn't really see any results. And now at this place in my journey, I've been on my journey for quite quite a long time, so I've seen uh, several changes. I've seen different chapters open up in my life. And what I can tell you is that sometimes, you know what, we need a bit more patience because something is good coming along, but it takes a bit of time, it takes a bit of work, it takes a bit of patience, a bit of things falling into place. Sometimes we do our job well, but it's other things that fall into place that need to happen first before you know our blessings can arrive at the door and i think part of that time part of that time where you know not much changes that's the part of us where we are you know going through a change but it's not it does it the way that it feels it feels like nothing has changed but what you'll find is when you look back at this point where you're watching this video in the future you will look back and you'll, you'll think, oh, you know what, actually loads of things did change. I just wasn't seeing it at the time. And I think a lot of the times when we have this time where, you know, we want to change our lives and we're, we're kind of waiting for good things to happen, that time is about gaining the knowledge, gaining the skills, gaining what you need in order for you to be that version that steps into that life that you want. See, the thing is, we've got to do a bit of growing in this in order to reap the harvest. It's like having a little seed. Your seed is planted, it is in the soil. So don't doubt that. It just needs a bit of time to grow. And if we're standing there waiting for it to grow and telling it to grow and wondering why it's not growing, it's not gonna grow quicker. It's not gonna grow in the way you want it to. You'll probably end up getting fed up and, you know, not believing in that seed. Whereas with any plant, with any, you know, tree even, it needs time to grow into the potential that it has. And that's how you can see this within yourself. See that you need a bit more time to really grow into your potential because you have not seen the best yet and you are, you will see the best. One of the things that I really feel is really important in this and it really does link to uh, what, what I've gone through um, and this is what you might find is that you may find that your life is full of challenges and that this is not just one challenge that's coming up, it's many and it feels tough. It feels like, why is this happening? Why have I got so much going on in my life? Where are my blessings? And you may feel like, you know what, I'm a good person. Why does all this stuff happen? I know how you feel because I went through that as well. But the thing is, when what I've come to realise is that these challenges, situations, they really do make you they really do sculpt you and use your potential as challenging as they are, as scary as they are, as, you know, so out of your comfort zone, you will be made in those moments. 
and I'll give you an example of how you know these experiences can shape you, can sculpt you, can shift you because sometimes we can be going down a path and we just need a shift. For example, you may have fallen out with a family member or a friend and before you were, you know, on good terms or maybe you weren't, maybe, you know, there was a bit of a story happening underneath there, but you you kind of sort of have peace with that person, but maybe you went into a fight with them and it was really tough, really horrible. But as time passed, you look back and you see this for a new light and you, you come to understand that you know, even though that was a horrible fight and that it left a distaste in your mouth. Maybe you're not friends with that person anymore. Maybe you don't speak to them anymore. But what that did was, maybe when you look back, you realise, you know what, maybe that's the first time that you actually stood up for yourself. Or maybe it's the first time you stood up for something that was right, something that meant something to you and that actually you value good values. You believe in being kind and, you know, just caring towards others. Maybe this was a moment where, you know what, well, you've been playing it safe, never really standing up for yourself. And this is this time where you've kind of activated that within yourself, this strength, this courage. See, the thing is, when we think that bad things come into our lives and, oh no, something worse is going to happen, or it's going to leave my life in ruins, Sometimes we have to, sometimes we need them. Sometimes we need this stuff to break down what's not working in our lives and start brand new foundations. What if that fight, that first time you stood up for yourself was the beginning of you standing strong, standing confident, you know, speaking your mind without any worries or fears or doubts maybe this is the time where you no longer stay silent so look at the situations in your life right now and think okay well what blessings what have i gained from those situations how have i changed and maybe as well you know maybe that person they needed to get out of your life because they weren't doing a good purpose in your life as in, you know, they weren't serving your life, they weren't making you feel better. Sometimes these things show up because they are really a blessing in disguise. And in order for these blessings to come into your life, you've got to experience this stuff. It's what's going to help you to get stronger, it's going to help you get further along on your path. It's about seeing this in the right way. Because if we see this in the negative way, we always get negative results. Whereas if we see this in a way that frees us, this is where we really begin to, you know, take off. This is where we start to build that harvest up. Maybe you've had a job and you lost it. You got fired or something bad happened and you had to leave your job. And instead of, you know, seeing it as, oh no, I lost my job. The worst is going to happen. What are people going to think of me? What is, what is my CV going to look like? If you see this in a different light, you will see that actually this is a new chapter opening up for you. And you know what, maybe this is what you needed to start stepping into the career that you've always dreamed about. Even if it's just, you know what, you go back to school or you start learning the skills that you want to obtain in order to start that career. And maybe with some time has passed, you look back and you realize, actually, that job never made me happy. That was never fulfilling my life. And actually now I crave, I want things that make me happy. You know what, a lot of the times we look at things in our lives as wrong, but actually not. It's not good or bad, it's, it's about turning everything into goodness. It's about seeing that you can turn uh, dark into light. You can turn the negative situations that are showing up in your life what has been in the past, you can turn them around and use what blessings are within those situations, within those challenges. You don't have to fall down in life 
you can get back up again and you can start winning. The thing is as well, like, you know, you look back over some time and, you know, you'll come back to this full circle moment where things start to make sense. Things start to feel better. No matter what you're going through, whatever's confusing, whatever's showing up in your life that doesn't feel right to you or makes you feel sad, makes you, doesn't make you happy. Just know that you can always trust your intuition. You can always trust your guides. You can always trust the, f the, the feeling that you feel in your gut. It's so important to, f to, to trust that because that's what's got me through this. Knowing that I can always trust my intuition because my intuition knows what's best for me. That's how I've got to where I am now. And this is where you can get to where you want to be in your life. Be stubborn with seeing this work out for you, that your blessings are coming. Start with asking yourself, what has changed? How am I changing? What needs to be changed? And start from there. Now, the best way to start with changing your life and being on the road to happiness is by starting with journaling. Journaling is powerful. Now, if you wanna learn how that can powerfully change your life and you can start doing that now, watch this video right here.